Hi guys and welcome to day two of the Indian Wedding Guest Get Ready With Me series. If you have not already seen day one then the link is in the description box ready for you guys to watch. So I've created this look for the second day of the wedding festivities. The second day includes the second Maya, we put on the Jura and then we have the Jagu. So I'm just going to go through and explain what these different bits are. So the Maya is a cleansing ceremony and I explained this in my last video but it's performed twice before the big wedding day. The Jura is the ceremony of the bride's uncles and brothers putting on her bridal bangles which are traditionally supposed to be kept on for a year and these are to show people that you are a newly married bride however in western countries people take them off a lot earlier so the jaggle is a festive dance full of energy and celebration and it's just to wake everybody up and get them in the mood for the up and coming wedding this traditionally comes from india as many of the traditions do and what used to happen was before there was a wedding a big group of people would go around the village and they'd have a dance and sing and go to each person's house just to let everybody know that there was a wedding in the village. And then after the jaggle comes out, it's just the start of the party and it's just time to eat good food and dance the night away. So if you'd like to get some inspiration on what to wear to an Indian pre-wedding party, then please keep on watching. First up, I am priming my eyes and I'm using Too Faced Shadow Insurance to do this. So I'm just popping it on and rubbing it on my eyelids. Next, I am setting this in place using the colour White Chocolate from the Too Faced palette. From the same palette, I am picking up the colour Salted Caramel to use as my transition colour and I am buffing that into the crease using a Zoeva 227 Lux Soft Definer brush and I am just working that in going back and forth to make sure I have got it really well blended. To deepen up the crease, I'm picking up the colour Semi Sweet and working that into my crease but a little bit below where I've got my transition colour and blending it all in nicely. Don't forget we want it to look seamless and give it a real gradient effect. As you can see, between applying the colour, I am using my Morphe E13 brush which is clean to just blend it out and buff out the colours so they blend together nicely. Now to cut my crease I am dipping into Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm using a flat packing brush from Morphe to carve out my crease. I'm going a little bit above my natural crease because obviously when we do our eyeliner it's going to take up quite a lot of the space. So I am being really careful doing this not to take it too far or too out of shape and when I do the next eye I keep continuing to check it against the other eye to make sure they are as similar as they can possibly be. For my lid colour which I've matched to my outfit I'm dipping into the Master Palette by Mario and picking up the colour Fifth Avenue and packing that all over my lid using a Zoeva 234 Lux Smoky Shader Brush and I dampen that before I put it on not leaving it too wet but just literally a tiny little bit damp otherwise you won't get a very good application and I'm just carefully bringing that colour right up to the cut crease. Now for some inner corner highlights I am dipping into my Pop Beauty Trio which is named Peach Parfait and I'm using the lightest colour from this to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and I'm blending this into the lid colour. For my winged liner I'm using my trusty Kiko gel liner in the colour black of course and I'm applying this with my 317 winged liner Zoeva brush. I'm starting in the centre of my lid making the eyeliner thick and thinning it out as I come into my inner corner and then I'm taking it to my outer corner making it thicker as it goes along. I am now tracing out my wing, checking each eye against the other and then filling it in and joining it to the lash line. Applying my false lashes, I am curling my lashes and applying a coat of Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Applied the glue to my lashes and let them sit for a little while and now it is tacky so I'm applying my Farrah Lashes by Huda Beauty popping them on the centre of my lid and then securing the outer and the inner corners and then pressing them against my natural lashes with the tweezers to make sure they are stuck on well. For my base I'm using Tarte's Timeless Smoothing Primer and putting that all over my face. 
to hide any dark patches on my skin I am using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer underneath my eyes and blending that out to the problem areas of my face. Because the IT Cosmetics Concealer isn't the right shade for me but it does have colour correcting properties I'm going over the concealer with Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer. I am now also applying my L'Oreal True Match Foundation and I'm blending this all out with a dampened beauty blender. Once I've achieved this soft airbrushed finish, I'm going in with my Morphe E8 buffing brush and blending out any creases in my concealer and setting my under eyes and my greasy areas of my face with the Laurier Mercier setting powder. With my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit, I am contouring my cheekbones as well as my jawline and I've also done the same for my nose, my cupid's bow and my forehead. Because I went a little heavy on the nose contour, I am just blending this out with my beauty blender. And for a gorgeous glow, I am using Becca's Champagne Pop and highlighting my cupid's bow. Small detail shader brush from Real Techniques. And I am also popping that highlighter onto my cheekbones. And I've also applied a little bit on my forehead and highlighted my brow bones. For a pop of glitter in the lower lash line, I have used Kiko's Cream Crush Eyeshadow in number 5, which is a really light pink but it looks more silvery in the camera. And I'm just putting that all the way along my lower lash line. And I've also applied some black eyeliner in my waterline and blended this out with a pencil brush. I have also coated my lower lashes in some mascara, the same one I used for my upper lashes. And now for the lips, I'm using MAC Lip Liner in Cultured and just lining my lips before applying my Dose of Colours Liquid Lipstick in Pinky Promise. And there we have it guys, that is the finished look. just like to say a massive thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i definitely hope to see you guys on day three of my indian wedding guests get ready with me series